Month is July and the year is 2013. A couple of years ago, I was having lunch with a friend of mine and he was talking about uh, money in the world. Uh, we happen to be in America and he was talking about the power elite in the world and how the less than one percent of the population of the world wanted, wanted to control the money for the entire world and I at the time thought my friend was uh, mentally ill uh, but um, his parents are both political scientists. Uh, his father is a doctor of political science, and so um, that is how I gave him credentials and um, and listen to him. Uh, why not learn something? So he told me that the. 1%, 2% of the population of the world wanted to control the money for the entire world, the entire population of the world. And so the way that they planned to do it was they uh, were going to turn all of the money into what they call euros. And um, anyway, so I finished lunch with him and um, went home and just simply thought that uh, I had a wonderful lunch with a wonderful friend who had lost his mind. And then uh, I started paying attention to the uh, presidential race in America and that's when Barack Obama was running against Mitt Romney and during the course of the election Mitt Romney got uh, recorded uh, at a luncheon function in California and was talking about the 40 47 percent of the population of America that didn't matter to him. So, as it turns out, somebody recorded that and then that became an issue in the campaign. And then uh, I found out that Mitt Romney, uh, who was uh, quite wealthy, probably nobody knows exactly how wealthy, uh, was part of what we call the 2% uh, versus the 98%. And so Mitt Romney ran on the grounds of wanting to save the economy in America and create jobs. And so anyway, as the election cycle uh, went its way, ultimately Barack Obama became president and currently is president and he's in the second year of his second term as president. And in the course of the last couple of years, uh, the stock market has been low, but it's been working its way back and one of the um, issues in the campaign was the unemployment rate and um, so Mitt Romney was and the Republican Party uh, were both uh, hitting on the unemployment rate and then the right before the election the unemployment rate came up to uh, a place uh, I think it was eight percent or seven point eight percent and um, so that basically was the argument that Mitt Romney and the GOP had been using and ultimately they lost the race. 
but in the meantime the the euros and Europe all of the countries that had been using their own money in Europe are now using the same money and they're called euros and so the money that was good two and three years ago is no longer being used in Europe and so that's part of the story of how the power elite plan to control and take over the world and make slaves out of the 98 percent by controlling all of the money and making all of the money into euros and um, it's a, a process that has been married with what now is called in America the conspiracy theory and uh, so more and more things are happening um, that coincide with the conspiracy theorists and along with those things the devaluation of the dollar and um, some people believe that America was in the next 10 years is not going to see dollars anymore but the entire world is going to use euros and if that's true and we wind up with a central bank then everybody the 98 percent in the world will be controlled by the two percent who are who have changed the uh, dollars into euros